Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial for Aspen Isis. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to discuss a little bit about the plug uh, flow reactor and uh, we would like to run a simulation for a plug flow reactor. A very simple case and uh, we would like to discuss also the difference between different type of reactors. For example, here we can see uh, three kind of reactors. One on the left is batch reactor where you can see that uh, it's uniform, uniformly mixed uh, with a mechanical apparatus at the top of it and then you can see this CSTR or the continuous steer tank reactor. It's again uniformly mixed. The feed is being uh, fed from the top and then you have the product at the bottom while a mechanical steering is happening at the center. And then there is a simple plug flow reactor, which is a long uh, tank, or you can call it a tube with parallel tube, maybe perhaps. Uh, and then you have the feed from the left and then the product from the right. And depending on the volume and the length of the reactor, the, 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 the reaction takes place. Uh, in this example, in this tutorial, we are going to use the plug flow reactor in Aspen Hysis and uh, the reaction that we are going to take a look is uh, this reaction. On the left side, we have uh, cis 2 uh, buten which is going to be transferred or reacted into trans 2 buten And you can see the, the formulation, the K uh, at the bottom, the rate of the reaction. And uh, the question is, the, the problem that we are going to solve is what volume do we, re do we really require to reach 95% reaction in the plug flow. Uh, the problem of specification is that the plug flow uh, reactor is one meter, the flow rate is 100 kilogram mole per hour, and uh, uh, the input uh, pressure is 12 bar at 25 degrees centigrade. Let's get to Aspen Isis very quickly. I'll start it from scratch. Let's make a new one. So the first thing first, again, is to add the component list. Uh, so CIS2, uh, CIS2 button, you can see it here. And then you have trans2 button, uh, TR2 uh, button, here it is, TR2 C4. And then you have all the components required. And then we go to fluid package. For fluid package, I'm going to use uh, NRTL. And then you have to specify the reaction set as well. So you uh, click on reaction, you call it set one, or actually you have to create one. And then the, the, the type of reaction is kinetic reaction. You click on that, and then you double click on this one, and then if you remember the equation for help the forward reaction, uh, actually for E and B, I'm going to put it to zero. And then for A, as you see here, if I put E and B equal to zero, then K equals to A, right? This uh, already satisfies our uh, formulation that we have specified here. So the K value is, 0 .3, uh, is 0 0.00385. So if I put A to 0.00385, then we have a reaction rate specified in the formulation. So you also need to add the components. So CIS2 is minus 1, stochastic coefficient, and the other one is actually 1. One of them is reactant, the other one is uh, the product of the reaction. Okay, I think we are good for the reaction as well. So then we can go to simulation. On the simulation, either you go to reactor or you simply search for plug reactor. And then you can see it here, plug flow reactor. You drag and drop it. And then double click on that. The inlet, you can call it feed. The outlet, you can call it product. 
and then for the energy you can call it Q okay and then if you go to parameters uh, there is not going to be any pressure drop across uh, the plug flow reactor is just a pure assumption it's an adiabatic situation there is no Q uh, transfer to the system or out of the system therefore the duty is also equal to zero uh, the reaction the reaction set you have to specify uh, actually I have to go back to reaction on the properties so I have to add it to the package that I had forgotten now I can go back to simulation and then I can select set one all right um, you can go to ratings the total volume I just put um, a random number of one for now because we are not sure what volume do we really require to get 95% uh, uh, <coughs> reaction volume, uh, reaction rate? So I'll just put it to one. The length we know it, it's one meter, and the diameter can be calculated automatically. All right, then you can close this. We can go to feed. Um, the composition for the feed, uh, uh, the CIS2 button is one and the other one is zero and then the conditions um, the temperature was at 25 degrees the pressure was at 12 bar if you remember and the molar flow is 100 kilogram mole uh, per hour all right now this is actually solved already solved it's uh, we can click on the product then we can go to composition and you can see that um, we are far from 95%. So we have 25%, more or less 25% C CIS2 and 75% uh, <clears throat> transbutane. Um, to reach 95%, either we need to add uh, volume manually or we can use this adjust option that we have. Uh, so if you write adjust and then you can see this adjust uh, thing here, drag and drop it and then double click on that. Yes. So the variable that we want to adjust is actually the volume of the tank, is the volume of the, react uh, the, the reactor. So if you search for the volume on the top, you can see that the reactor volume is there. You can select it. And then the target variable is and the actual conversion rate. OK? So you can select this one. And then you want the actual conversion rate to be 95%. So you can specify the target value here and then you can go to pro parameters let's make the iteration to 100 and then then we can just start it now you can see that it's already converged solution can be seen on the product if I go to composition you can see that now we have 95% uh, TR2 butane and just 5% CIS2 butane. Uh, we can take a look at the volume now. What volume did we need? So the volume that we needed to have this reaction to take place at 95% uh, reaction rate is 2.244 cubic meter uh, of the reactor. Um, I think that is it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you have learned the difference between different reactors. Uh, it was a good uh, practice to um, use adjust function here as well. And um, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time.